Introducing the Vapor Rhino 3-in-1 system, 145 PSI of bleeding madness. What I have here is the motherboard from a Bluetooth intercom system for a motorcycle helmet. Now what happened the other day was this um, particular piece, and I'll show you the whole piece in a bit, got dropped off the back of the motorcycle by the beach and it landed in the water. And for whatever reason, it did not like the salt water. It's supposed to be waterproof, but apparently it's not. Salt water got in there, we dried it, but when we connect the battery to it and put it back in its case, it continues to beep and flash and it, it's like it's on. There's no way to turn it off. So it's, it's broken and we have bad static in the system as well. So when you put it on the headset, it just buzzes. So something's not right in there. My guess is there's some salt crystals in there. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the Vapor Rhino system and we're gonna use dry vapor steam. out this little piece and try to clean it out. Hopefully that'll restore it. So the steam flow on the Vapor Rhino is 100% adjustable from a mist to full power. So I'm going to put it in about uh, halfway. I'm going to take my little electronic here and I'm going to clean it. So we're going to try to clean all this out. So. Headphone jack, the buttons, and everything else. I'm going to try to get the salt crystals out of there. So there is the USB input there. Here is the jack for the headset and mic, and these are the buttons here. So I'm going to clean all those out. done here, I can guarantee you there will be no salt crystals left behind. volume here. Turn the steamer all the way up. And I'm going to come back here. So I'm going to take this and run it under a hair dryer. And as you can see, it's fairly dry already. Pretty remarkable when you think about it. Uh, still a little bit of moisture there, but this is not water that you're seeing here. See that? That's just the make of it, those little shiny speckles. Turning it over. You see that's basically dry. So it's pretty amazing if you think about it. We just clean this with superheated water, i.e. vapor steam. And a few seconds later, it's virtually dry. Now, I would not put this back together with the battery yet. Take a hair dryer to it and dry it, and maybe even leave it out overnight. Um, I'm going to do it a little more rapidly. That hair dryer for five minutes or less, and boom, I'm going to put it in and see if it works. All right, thank you, Vapor Rhino. Good job. All right, so here we are. I just went upstairs and hit it with a hair dryer for about, about a minute, minute and a half. Not even. I tried not to overheat it. Um, everything's perfectly clean and dry. And I don't know, let's see what happens here. Here's the power pack. And this is part of the control system, the, the cover side 
This goes here, and the cover side has two buttons to activate the intercom system right here. Here's the buttons, actually. This is, this is one from the other helmet. I'm using the microphone here and the speakers, which are, I don't know if you can see that, behind here. Obviously, we have these intercoms because we have two helmets. So this is what we did. So we have this circuit board here, and this is the battery pack. This is the base of the unit. And it really simply just has a plug here. I'm going to line that plug up. Yeah, it goes like that. Line that plug up. Put her in. Oops. I have it backwards. Line that plug up, put it in. There we go. Now, we should see lights flashing soon, I hope. Before I have to start it. I'm probably going to have to activate it. So let's hold the power button. You hold it for about four seconds or so. Aha! Nice! All right. So. I'm gonna try to do, I get one of these out of there. Not making too much of a mess. Here's one of the little speakers for the helmet. I'm gonna bring you in there. Hopefully you can hear that. I'm gonna turn it on and off. Let me go ahead and plug that in first. Oops, guys. It would help if I plug the speakers in. I'll let that dangle there. And hold on. I'm gonna turn this on. and Maybe you can hear it anyway. So, put that speaker here. So you can get the light on the thing at the same time. But Power. There we go. Look at that, huh? The intercom system works. And I'm going to do a scan for Bluetooth. Device connected. Okay, that rotates between, say, phone and the other intercom. And I'm powered off. Before, I couldn't turn it off. It was stuck on, and it was completely useless, nothing but static. This speaker was kicking, kicking out a massive amount of static, so... Holding. Power off. Isn't that beautiful? So this is repaired. We're going to go ahead and put this back together with the screws. Put the cover plate on. The other one, of course. This is the good one here. Go ahead and put this back together, and we have a functional, happy system. There'll be no audio this time. I just took the audio off, so. Power on. Beautiful. Thought we were going to have to order a new set, but I tried to clean it off with an air compressor. I took a little fresh water, and it just wouldn't fix anything. It was not helping. Apparently, there was some salt crystals stuck in there that just wouldn't come clean. One of the holes, and it wouldn't work. The Vapor Rhino steam system cleaned that out amazingly. And I have saved myself about $80. So, hey, two thumbs up for the Vapor Rhino. Thank you. Power off.